Екатерина Карташова. So I work here in Middlesex University as a program leader for the full-time MBA. I teach a wide range of modules related to finance. I am research active and my passion is behavioral finance, how rationality, how different cognitive and emotional biases influence our decision making and our behavior. Somebody told business people that finance and accounting is difficult. However, it's really exciting because numbers could tell you the story of your business and that is accounting and finance could develop that story that way you really wish. So that is financial planning and financial management. So the earlier you start, the better it will go as if you are doing not a first draft or second draft or just doing your submission. Yeah, so like document that you would really be proud of. And actually, sometimes it's easier to start really from the beginning, putting the key aspects, you know, ideal, uh, and identifying the key indicators you want to manage. You have to understand also what factors influence your business. So you have to challenge yourself by asking very provocative questions. Let's say, when I get my first million, for example, or what is the most profitable product in my portfolio, how to develop that product matrix that could bring me, let's say, the highest possible profitability or create value for the shareholders. So when you start asking yourself and you are confused with the answers, so it's really time to settle, to sit down and to start doing all these kind of stuff from the scratch. Nobody will make your business perfect and everything depends on you. So it, whoever you are working with, you have to be responsible for the decision make, you are making and you have to take the responsibility about the consequences those decisions will bring. So actually, the most important thing uh, dealing with the accountant, so it's the understanding the rules of the game. So as soon as you're familiar, if you, if, is, uh, if you are speaking the same language with your accountant, I mean with the same concepts, you understand, let's say, the way the documentation and the data moves inside the business, let's say. So in this case, you will be on the same track and it will be really easy, easy, easy to, to succeed and easy to proceed and to reach your all goals. However, usually challenges happen. And in this case, I believe that again, everything starts from the mindset of the business owner. So in this case, the person should understand that numbers, it's only the reflection of the situation, but you can make that situation and you can again, tell the story that way you would like to tell the story and for, for the readers, let's say to, to get that story. Never be afraid of challenges and never be afraid of changes. I think that is the, the most important for, for business. Don't rely on the numbers too much. Numbers will not bring you happiness and numbers will not bring you profits. So the passion, if you are really keen on, on what you are doing and if you are really trying to deliver the value to your customer, so that would be obvious between the lines and, and that will really increase the appreciation from the customers. Good beginning makes good ending. And that's why it's really difficult to do that first step. But as soon as you do that step, so the road becomes very clear. Yeah? So in this case, a lot of uh, business people, they think that like it's difficult, it's confusing, it's very time consuming. Yes, if you are doing this accidentally, like from time to time, but if you put all the business processes as they have to be, including finance and including accounting, so what you need, you are just keeping control and keeping, let's say, how the things are moving and what is the progress and if they're moving that direction, they wish them to move. So and, and, and again, you're making decisions. So life is full of decisions and choices and we're making them every time. So if you choose to be successful, you will definitely get to the destination. That is actually 
even not an advice, it's a necessity. Because a lot of uh, business people, they confuse their personal money with the money of their company. So in this case, you have to pay, let's say, to your supplier, but you already spend that on an amazing 25th handbag. You really desire to buy that moment. So if that uh, thing or if that type of confusion happens, so actually the payment gaps and the cash flows will be disorganized and that could bring really huge not only challenges but already problems to the business so as soon as you set up a separate bank account and you start understanding that that money is not your money but that is the money of the business and you as a shareholder has a right to get dividends if the business is successful and at the same time as a uh, as a member of staff let's say even if you are manager or the CEO of that company. So you are getting the reward of investing your money. So you are getting the salary. Yeah? So that is the two cash flows that are possible between the owner, let's say, and the business. All the rest, it's not yours. So as soon as you recognize and as soon as you understand that, so things start to settle because the payment calendar, the cash flow management and all other kind of stuff, these are only tools helping you to do so. But like the restrictions, the rules you are settling, these are the priority things. Mm -hmm.